Well, Grand Harbor Key residents are up in arms over the removal of sand from a local beach. Our news team headed to the community to get to the bottom of this situation. Here's Janae Noel Ferguson. ZNS News received pictures of mountains of sand along the beachfront in Great Harbor Key. The blame placed on a foreign heavy equipment operator alleging that he was removing sand from the sandbanks. On Thursday, our news team did find a dug up area on the beach. However, the level of sand was much smaller than the pictures indicated. Residents told us that those believed responsible were tipped off that our news team was en route and tried to do damage control. I was on the board or something. I don't lock those fellas up a long time, you know what I mean? And I'll make them put the sand back and all, you know what I mean? Because it's wrong and it shouldn't be happening. They're not supposed to disturb the beaches, the sand beaches, and the mangroves, and they're doing it. And it's the second time now these guys have been doing it. Uh, so it, it's very important that if, if we can have somebody from the Ministry of Environment come down here and look into this matter. It, it, it's, it's very hateful to notice this going on. The disturbance of any beach area is against the law without the permission of local government. Those concerned residents claim that the operator was digging the area before any permission was given and selling the sand at $1,000 a load. Chief Counselor Cardinal Roll explains how this matter unfolded. But we met him out here and we tried to put a handle on the situation after he came out here. Mm -hmm. And we asked him to, you know, when he, when he have gotten a little amount of sand to leave. So that, that was it. The council was quite satisfied after we got out here, but we didn't give him, we didn't give him the access to come out here. Now, according to the residents we heard from, a lot of their concern came from the fact that the sand was being removed from the sandbank, and they say that the environment was not a controlled one. But according to officials, they did monitor the amount of sand that was being removed from the area. We don't think that we did any damage to the environment. He was selling the sand for himself then? Well, that part, I, I, I can't say if he was selling it for himself, but I know he, one of the only ones on the island that have the equipments that could come out on this beach. The chief counselor also reasoned that the removal of the sand was a savings for those doing construction on the island. Because you're going to barge in sand or you can get a controlled environment and get some sand as needed for the contractors. Law, I believe, applies to all of the Commonwealth. So how could it just be ignored? Now police in the Barry Islands told us that they received no official complaint from residents over the matter, meaning that no investigation was done. Meanwhile, residents hope that the relevant authorities would put a stop to this matter that they say has gone on long enough. Now all of this takes place as Prime Minister Perry Christie recently requested a report from BAIC on the viability of sand mining in the Bahamas. From Great Harbor Key in the Barry Islands, I'm Janae Noel Ferguson, Zed Network News.